Serum AMH is a marker of ovarian reserve after cancer therapy or hematopoietic stem cell transplantation by Molinari et al. Ovarian impairment is an increasingly common adverse effect of antineoplastic therapy. This may present as diminished ovarian reserve, DOR, or premature ovarian insufficiency, POI. Early identification of DOR may allow fertility preservation. This ovarian impairment may be due to hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, pelvic radiotherapy, or alkylating agents, the burden of which can be converted into an equivalent dose of cyclophosphamide, CED. AMH can be used as a marker of ovarian reserve. The aims of this study were to assess the relationship between CED and AMH and identify a threshold of CED where risk of ovarian impairment was raised. The authors also assess the impact of the factors listed on ovarian function and propose an algorithm to guide clinicians in tailored follow-up. Postmenarchal females treated with gonadotoxic therapy before 18 were included in this study and split into those who underwent HSCT and those who did not. Gonadal health was clinically and biochemically assessed. Results AMH values and hence ovarian function were significantly lower in those who underwent HSCT. However, overall incidence of DOR was higher than expected, especially in those who did not undergo transplantation. Lower AMH levels were also associated with radiotherapy, increasing CED, age at diagnosis over 10, and conditioning with either total body irradiation or busulfan. In conclusion, Ovarian impairment should be screened for in patients exposed to gonadotoxic treatments to provide reproductive counselling. Various factors predisposing to poor ovarian function have been found, allowing identification of patients at risk. An algorithm to assess gonadal impairment has been proposed by the authors. To find out more, please refer to the link provided in the slide or scan the QR code.